So this is the look I have for you all today. It's um, kind of goldy, bronzy, shimmery, very light, um, kind of natural shimmer, I guess you could say. Um, I'm getting ready to leave the house right now and go meet my grandparents and my mother for lunch, and then I'm going to go meet up with some friends and we're going to a baseball game. So in this video, I used um, products that protect the skin and just kind of kept everything simple and light and easy um, because I am going out to a baseball game um, and I used products that for me I know they're long wearing and long lasting because I'm going to be outside for several hours and there's the possibility that it's going to rain. I am not super excited about that but anyway if you want to find out how I got this look please keep on watching. Moisturizer normally you know I use the Olay Fresh Effects um, Long Live Moisture Lotion or satin finish lotion, um, but I didn't today. I chose to use Juice Beauty's Green Apple Moisturizer because it has an SPF of 15 in it, and when you're going to be outside all day, you want an SPF. Um, and I didn't have a primer with an SPF in it. I thought I did. I know I used to. I don't know where it went. Um, so I just used my regular Kors anti-aging primer. Now, most of the foundations out there I know have some form of SPF in them, and I know, like... 90% of the foundations that I have have an SPF in them, but I have chosen to use Max Studio Fix Fluid in the color NC15 um, because for my skin, this sets very matte and it helps keep my oiliness in my T-zone under control. Um, this is my T-zone, not this. Um, but anyway, it helps keep that under control and I don't really need to powder this too much throughout the day and it stays in place even when I get sweaty and hot. So that is why I have chosen to use this one and I'm just going to apply that with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I forgot to mention that in for this video I have chosen not to film my uh, foundation routine. I am telling you what I'm using and why I'm using it but if you really want to see how I do my foundation I know I've done it in past videos and I have a couple of foundation routine videos that are on my channel. So if you would like to see how I'm doing my foundation, you can watch those videos. So I just really buffed that into my skin really well um, so that it gave a nice even coverage and it didn't look super cakey on my skin. Um, and I even took it over my eyelids, as you can see they're already creasing, but um, I took it over my eyelids as well to just help even my skin tone out. And for concealer, I am going to use Benefit's Fake Up Concealer to prevent any creasing, and then I am going to use Max Studio Finish Concealer because it has an SPF of 35. So afterwards, to set that concealer, I used my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and my Real Techniques Setting Brush. I chose to use this powder because it has light reflecting pigment in it, and I did use a full coverage foundation and then I didn't use a lighter concealer to highlight the areas of my face. So that light reflecting pigment will help to bring out the areas of my face that I highlighted, like my forehead and my chin and my nose and under my eyes. Um, and then on my Real Techniques uh, Duo Fiber Brush, which is just a really not too densely packed brush, I lightly dusted my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in transparent over top of the rest of my skin just to make sure that everything stays in place. And this brush is really good for just like lightly dusting powders over the top of your foundation because it is um, more sparse and not so densely packed. It's kind of like a stippling brush in that so way. Since I do need to add some warmth back to my face, I am going to be using Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun, and it's just a matte bronzer, and I'm going to be using a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush to apply that. And then for blush today, I'm just using my MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty because it is the perfect um, cheek color for me. It's pretty much the same color that my face naturally flushes, and I applied that with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. And then as highlight, I used my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Definition. And I applied that with my Real Techniques so now brush. for the eyes, um, I'm just going to start with Urban Decay's um, Original Primer Potion. Because I know this one lasts all day and it really just like sucks eyeshadow into it and it stays on. Um, and on my eyes, 
I'm going to be using my Extra Dimension Skin Finish as well. And I'm just going to take the lighter color on my Soho Fluffy Brush and I'm just going to dust that all over my eyes. It's not really going to change anything, it's kind of just going to um, give a little bit of color. So then again, on my Soho Fluffy Brush, just to add the smallest amount of definition, I'm going to take a very tiny amount of cork eyeshadow and just kind of run that through my crease. And really, really just buff that out. Now just to kind of maybe deepen the crease a little, little bit, a little more, I'm going to take my Real Techniques Duo Fiber eye brush and I'm going to take the darker part of the skin finish and just run that in there. Get a lot on the brush. Well, not a lot. Just shake off the excess. And then just kind of run that right through the crease. And I'm not being very precise with any of this. I'm just seriously looking in my viewfinder and putting this on because I'm going to go back with my fluffy brush and just really blend that out. Take a little bit on the fluffy brush as well. And just blend that out. I'm also like going that. to take a little bit of cork on a Real Technique shading brush and just run that under the lower lash line to add a little bit of definition under there as well. And since the last step in my look is the most optional of all of my looks, um, I didn't film it, but I did just use carbon on my 263 brush from MAC and just pushed that into the roots of my lashes. So now, ooh, excuse me, I kind of burped when I said that. Anyway, I'm just going to curl my lashes and I'm going to be using CoverGirl's Flamed Out Waterproof Mascara on my lashes and I will That right is back. the finished look. Um, I went ahead and filled my brows in as well since I forgot to do that. Um, and just on my lips, I've just put more Livy, Livia. Nivea Lip Butter um, in Vanilla Macadamia Kiss just over the top of the little bit of foundation I had on my lips to give it kind of a pale pink nude look color. Um, I know it's kind of maybe seems like a lot to wear to a baseball game, but like I said, I am going out to lunch and I am going a couple other places before I go to the baseball game, so I don't know. I just, I don't know. But anyway, so this is the finished look. If um, remember, as you can use as many of these steps or as few of these steps as you want to. This is completely optional. It's up to you how much makeup you feel comfortable wearing throughout the day, especially going out to a sporting event. Um, so, but this is just what I'm going to be wearing. So I hope y'all like it and thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video.